Sharia Screening Indexes and Institutions Globally, there are approximately 11 Sharia screening practices, most of whom provide Sharia indices. They include Although all these Sharia screening methodologies practice a two-tier method of screening, qualitative and quantitative, they differ in some measures and leniency. AOIFI Sharia Screening Criteria AOIFI Business Activity Screening Companies' primary activity should not involve any impermissible business activities such as activities based on RIBA or interest or usury, trading in uncertainty or risk, gambling or games of chance, manufacturers or traders of impermissible products or services. AOIFI Financial Operations Screening AOIFI focused on the following financial ratios. Interest taking deposits less than 30% to market capitalization of total equity. Interest bearing debt less than 30% to market capitalization of the corporation. Total market value of illiquid assets more than 30% to market value of the total assets. Did you know? The OIFI was established in 1990 with the aim of preparing accounting, auditing, governance, ethics and other Sharia standards for Islamic financial institutions. Its Sharia screening criteria are detailed in the standard issued in May 2004. Dow Jones Islamic Market Indexes Sharia Screening Criteria Jimmy Business Activity Screening According to Jimmy Sharia Supervisory Board, the following six sectors are identified as forbidden sectors. Alcohol Pork-related products Conventional financial services Entertainment services Tobacco Weapons and defense Jimmy Financial Operation Screening The Jimmy Sharia Supervisory Board uses three financial ratios to screen out firms with high leverage and interest income and expense. Accordingly, each of the following three financial ratios must be less than 33%. The ratio of total debt to trailing 24-month average market capitalization. The ratio of cash and interest-bearing securities to trailing 24-month average market capitalization. The ratio of accounts receivables to trailing 24-month average market capitalization. Did you know? Jimmy are constructed by screening out stocks that are incompatible with Islam's prohibition of interest and selected lines of business. It is the first international Islamic market index, which was introduced based on Dow Jones Sharia Board Fatwa issued in 1998. FTSE Bursa Malaysia Emma's Sharia Index Sharia Screening Criteria SAC Business Activity Screening According to the SAC, companies will be classified as Sharia non-compliant if they are involved in the following activities. Financial services based on RIBA, interest. Gambling and gaming. Manufacture or sale of non-halal products. Conventional insurance. Non-permissible entertainment activities. Manufacture or sale of tobacco-based products. Stockbroking or share trading in Sharia non-compliant securities. Other activities deemed non-permissible according to Sharia. SAC Financial Operations Screening According to the SAC, each of the following two financial ratios must be less than 33%. The ratio of total debt to trailing 24-month average market capitalization. The ratio of cash and interest-bearing securities to trailing 24-month average market capitalization. The ratio of accounts receivables to trailing 24-month average market capitalization. Did you know? The KLSI was launched on April 17, 1999 and guided by the Sharia Advisory Council SAC, of the Securities Commission of Malaysia SC. The SAC is to assist investors to identify Sharia-compliant securities by formulating a Sharia screening methodology. Financial Times Stock Exchange Sharia Screening Criteria the FTSE Global Equity Index series was launched in October 1999. Its Sharia screening methodology was developed by a Sharia advisory group, Yesar, who re-evaluate the Sharia compliance of its indexed companies on a quarterly basis. FTSE Business Activity Screening 
According to FTSE, the main areas of business activity screening include conventional finance, alcohol, pork-related products, tobacco, weapons, and entertainment. The FTSE screening methodology applies a threshold for impermissible business activity, represented by 5% of total revenue on average. Companies that fail the first screen are rejected from the Sharia investable pool. FTSE Finance Activity Screening For financial screening, FTSE uses total assets and applies a 33% cap on the threshold for factors such as Total debt relative to total assets Cash and interest-bearing securities over total assets The threshold for the sum of a company's accounts receivable and cash over total assets is set at being less than 50%. Total interest and non-compliant activities income should not exceed 5% of total revenue. Did you know? The FTSE Global Equity Index series was launched in October 1999. Its Sharia screening methodology was developed by a Sharia advisory group, Yesar, who re-evaluate the Sharia compliance of its indexed companies on a quarterly basis. Standard & Poor's Sharia Indices Sharia Screening Criteria S&P Business Activity Screening According to the SAC, companies will be classified as Sharia non-compliant if they are involved in the following activities. Financial services based on RIBA Gambling and gaming Manufacture or sale of non-halal products Conventional insurance Non-permissible entertainment activities Manufacture or sale of tobacco-based products other activities deemed non-permissible according to Sharia. S&P Financial Operation Screening S&P three areas of focus are leverage, cash, and the share of revenues derived from non-compliant activities. Liquidity ratios, less than 49% of account receivable divided by 36-month market average market capital, and less than 33% of cash plus interest-bearing securities divided by 36-month average market capital. Debt ratio, less than 33% of total debt divided by 36-month market average market capital. Did you know? S&P Dow Jones Indices introduced S&P Sharia Indices in 2006. The indices rely on rating intelligence partners to provide the Sharia screens and filter the stocks based on these screens. Morgan Stanley Capital International Sharia Screening Criteria The MSCI Business Activity Screening the MSCI qualitative screen excludes shares of all companies engaged in activities strictly prohibited activity in Islam. These include companies whose major line of business is dealing with financial transactions involving interest, gambling activities, intoxicants such as alcohol or similar drugs that can obscure one's judgment, pork and or excessive risk taking such as insurance and speculative investments. The MSCI Financial Operations Screening MSCI uses quantitative screens to further screen companies with core activities as permissible, but have a portion of revenue from non-permissible activities. The following financial ratios must be less than 33.33%. Total debt to total assets. Cash and interest bearing securities to total assets. Account receivables and cash to total assets. Did you know? The MSCI Global Islamic Indices was launched in March 2007 following a fatwa by an independent Sharia board certifying MSCI Islamic Index Series methodology. Like others, the screening of both business activities and financial ratios are used to apply the Sharia investment principles. Thomson Reuters Ideal Ratings Sharia Screening Criteria Ideal Ratings Business Activity Screening According to Ideal Ratings, companies will be classified as Sharia non-compliant if they are involved in any impermissible activities. Non-halal food production, tobacco and alcohol. Gambling, false advertisement and hotels. Non-Islamic banks, financial institutions and insurance companies. Entertainment and music production. Trading of gold and silver. Arms manufacturing. Manufacture or sale of tobacco-based products. Ideal Ratings Financial Operation Screening Ideal Ratings Sharia Stock Screening uses three financial ratios to screen out firms. The ratio of total debt to trailing 12-month average market capitalization must be less than 30%. 
The ratio of cash, deposits and interest-bearing investment dividend total assets must be less than 30%. The ratio of cash, deposits and receivables to total assets must be less than 67%. Did you know? Ideal Ratings has been providing Sharia screening and fund services for financial institutions since 2006. Similar to the others, Ideal Ratings has adopted the two-stage screening process to filter its Islamic indices. The Stocks Europe Islamic Index Sharia Screening Criteria Stocks Business Activity Screening the stock's qualitative screening excludes companies whose primary activities include non-halal food production, conventional financial and insurance companies, gambling, weapon and arms manufacturing, entertainment, trading of gold and silver, stocks financial operations screening, Stocks quantitative screening further filters companies with core activities as permissible under Sharia, but have a portion of revenue from non-permissible activities. Sharia non-compliant debt to total assets ratio cannot exceed 33%. Interest-bearing assets to total assets ratio cannot exceed 33%. Did you know? The stock's Islamic indices are designed to provide broad equity market exposure in compliance with Sharia principles for Europe and the Eurozone. The screening process is monitored by the stock's European Islamic Index Sharia Supervisory Board, established in February 2011. ISRA Bloomberg Sharia Screening Criteria ISRA Bloomberg Business Activity Screening the ISRA Bloomberg Qualitative Screening excludes companies whose primary activities are not in congruence with the Sharia. Such activities include non-halal, impermissible, food production, e.g. pork, alcohol and tobacco, conventional financial and insurance companies, gambling, weapon and arms manufacturing, entertainment and trading of gold and silver. ISRA Bloomberg Financial Operations Screening after the sector screening, the companies are subject to financial screening. There are two financial ratios that need to be met. These are the cash-based ratio and debt-based ratio. The ratio of total debt to trailing 24-month average market capitalization and the ratio of cash placed in conventional accounts to assets. Did you know? The ISRA Bloomberg screening methodology also has sector and activity-based screening like other methodologies. After screening out the companies having impermissible business activities, it focuses on companies with mixed activities. Karachi Nizan Index Screening Criteria KMI 30 Business Activity Screening According to the Nizan Business Screening Criteria, the primary line of business of a company should be halal in all aspects. Therefore, investment in any company involved in following activities is not permissible. Pork, alcohol and tobacco related products. Conventional banking and investment or insurance. Entertainment deemed impermissible in Islam. Manufacturing of weapons. KMI 30 financial operation screening. After the sector screening, the companies are subject to five financial screening criteria. Debt to total assets. The ratio of debt to total assets must be less than 37%. Non-compliant investment to total assets. The ratio of non-compliant investment to total assets must be less than the threshold of 33%. Non-compliant income to total revenue. The ratio of non-compliant income to total assets must be less than 5%. Illiquid assets to total assets. The ratio of illiquid assets to total assets must be more than 25%. Market price per share of net liquid asset per share. The market price per share must be more than the net liquid assets per share. That is, total assets, total liabilities, illiquid assets, divided by number of shares. Did you know? The KMI 30 screening methodology also has sector and activity-based screening like other methodologies. After screening out the companies having impermissible business activities, it focuses on companies with mixed activities.